Hi. Hi everyone and welcome back to Knowledge Talks with the, the Ons. Ons. And today we are talking about house chores. Yani kazi za nyumba. Uh -huh. And that's a very sensitive topic and yes. it's much needed because uh -huh. actually the uh -huh. men are the culprits here. In my opinion. Very true. Yes. Yeah. Because I've seen uh, videos in the, on the internet uh -huh. where like, a man is busy on the phone while the woman is struggling with even three kids. Seriously? Plus cooking, laundry, all that kind of thing. Why does that happen? And is that right? Yes. My question today uh -huh. is um, these house shows, who are they for? Who are they mm -hmm. meant for? Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, how should couples operate when it comes to house chores? Yeah. How should you operate? Mm -hmm. And then what happens in case maybe one of you is challenged physically? Because house chores, uh, they need someone to be okay, you know, in their bodies yeah. to be able to perform these house chores. What happens in this case? Yeah, mm -hmm. very true. By the way, uh, when you talk of the house chores, as what uh, my wife is saying here, yeah, you'll realize most of the time, women are the ones who suffer mm -hmm. women are the ones who suffer and uh now we need to go back and answer the questions that she's posed forward yeah so why does this happen why 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 do people take that why do people assume that house chores should be obligations for women yeah okay maybe in answering the question point number one yeah mm -hmm. In our view, that is our view, okay? Husband and wife must work as a team. True. Yeah, remember when you work as a team, yeah, there's the angle of you are one. So if you are one, there's no way utalemea the other side, you you know, yeah. and uh, you, 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 you work as a team. And when you work as a team, I mean, the, the aspect of teamwork, yeah, you will realize you don't overburden the other person. So don't look at it in terms of this is an obligation for the women. No, for a woman, no. Look at it, we have to operate as a team. If you think you can come in at this angle and help out and it will make work easier, that is good, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. so when you got married, uh, you became one. And you mm -hmm. decided to start a, a family together. Yes. And you decided to live together as husband uh -huh. and wife in a home, you know, or in a house that you call your home now. Yes. And uh, from that day onwards till death, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be working together. Exactly. Uh, remember that um, a home becomes a home because of the love you give it. Mm. So if you give it attention, if you give it much love, mm. if you care about how it looks, it will give you service back. Very true. Because um, I think I'm one of those people who don't like walking into a, a dirty home mm. or, a, or an unkempt bedroom. Me too. And that's what we've taught our kids. Actually, we put yeah. them on the task. They yeah. never like unmade beds, I don't know, clothes everywhere. Yeah. They know it. We have taught them. And I think we've done a good job in teaching them. Yeah. Because I, I always tell them that you, the house, you, you're supposed to give the home much the love. The love yeah. that you give is what it gives you back. Because it's your right? space. Yes. Yeah. So... From the time you guys got married to the time you start having uh, your baby, yeah. okay, leave alone even the uh, the baby before the baby comes. You know, when you when a woman is pregnant, you carry the the <laughs> the pregnancy together, right? Yeah. But actually, that's why people say we are pregnant. They don't say the woman very is true. pregnant. They say yeah, we are pregnant true. because you are start, you're mm, carrying mm, that mm. together. Psychologically, even yeah. as many are very Yeah, true. and remember, a mm. woman has come in as a helper. Mm. So, meaning, I must have found you doing something. Very true. Then I help you out in that. Yeah. But it's not like I just came, and you know I've had this, a man say, eh, I in, mean, In how? fact, I normally, I normally say, the Bible says the man is the head. Wife, according to Genesis 2, 18, a wife is a helpmate. She only came in to help. So meaning a man should lead in every aspect of life. Yes. And then the wife comes in to make work easier mm -hmm. for the man. Mm -hmm. 
Okay? That's so, other. meaning, even the house chose, the man should lead. I mean, it's, it's biblical. I mean, <laughs> it is for Nyingine to taongea to Jue where the problem comes from. And you know, the whole thing, guys, eh, we, the, the truth about this whole thing is it also depends on availability. Because sometimes you can find out eh, a man is very much available compared to the wife. Maybe the wife is the one who works yeah. on regular kind of employment yeah. and maybe, maybe a, six to six yes yeah. unezapata, maybe the man has lost his job mm -hmm. is all over there maybe he's always free in the house and yeah maybe he's working at home or he's working at home it is only fair you as a man because yeah. you are available yeah. yeah don't make your wife be like a donkey yeah. you are available you can do the house chores yeah. okay you yeah. can do the house chores and so that by the time your wife comes in she will not i mean she's already worked up i mean yeah. she's tired because of the regular employment imagine her coming back to the house only for her to realize she has to do the dishes she has to do this she has to do she the has to i mean cooking. she has to start cooking and you were there what were you doing okay so that is why we are saying when it comes to house chores you can't say they are it is specifically for this person or for the, the woman of the no yeah. it is for everyone yeah but you have to work as a team yeah it depends on the on, on the availability yeah. it depends also on the nature of work yeah. for example if it is something that is manly it requires strength it requires you know i can't expect my wife to go over a ladder and fix something up there you know mm. Those are, those are technical stuff technical for, the, this. for the men. For the men, yeah, yes. you see. So I'm looking at it from that angle. So it depends on the availability, the nature yes. of, 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 of work that is there. Yes. And also, it also depends on the, the condition of your spouse. Maybe, I, I know like now my wife has a problem with her backache. I would not want to expose her in very heavy kind of uh, duties, you know, yeah? Because I know she'll just bring issues with her back, yeah? So sometimes it depends. Even your man, your spouse, might be having some issues, you know? So, all those factors we have to consider. Exactly. My, 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 point, uh -huh. my point is, um, let me just go back to what I've seen. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's something that I've experienced with men. Mm -hmm. Well, is it right for a man to just be sitting while the wife is working? And maybe they're on their phone, maybe they're on TikTok. No, no, no. I think that's where now this becomes very unfair. In fact, I think right? that that maybe brings us to the point of yeah, why don't most spouses share house chores? It's lack of sensitivity. Yeah. In my opinion, there's a lack of sensitivity mm -hmm. in that. Uh, you're there, you're able, mm -hmm. you have the time, Yeah. you're free, there's nothing yeah. you're doing. <laughs> Very true, yeah. But you don't see the need to assist. Yeah. You're not feeling them as they're doing that job. You're not feeling like you can be of help. Mm -hmm. And when we come back to marriage, marriage is about giving to each other. It is mm -hmm. being of service to the to other person. Each other, yes. right? Yeah. It's not about mm -hmm. you sitting down and getting ready to receive. Mm -hmm. It is about you, me giving to you and, and me giving to you. Exactly. And also in addition to that, guys, eh? some spouses some spouses don't help each other in in uh, in house chores because of the mindset yeah the mindset you have a particular mindset yeah you 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 the way you you know maybe it's because of upbringing yeah you know yeah a woman is supposed to be doing abcd yeah Actually, so the thing is if you never saw your dad helping out then that is how you, you that is what you, you give up back to the wife head, yeah. you believe that yeah. i shouldn't do certain things because yes. they're for women in fact some men people for women yes some people will even think when they see a man in the kitchen that it's, it's yeah. like abomination yeah i mean for real guys we need to style up in fact yeah. i think this i find the mindset thing yeah and upbringing it's something yeah. that is so common particularly in african setup yes yeah Ask people who have gone out of the country. They will tell you they do the laundry by themselves. Mm. They will cook for themselves. They will they will put their house in order. Yeah. yeah? 
But when it comes to Africa, you will have a problem going to the kitchen. You have a, sometimes it is even worse. Your wife is even pregnant, but you are pushing her to do heavy things, yeah. and you are just comfortable sitting sitting there. So, so I, this I we this need we need to change mind that mindset. Yeah, we need to have a mind transformation. Mm -hmm. That upbringing, the kind of thing we we've been brought up, that is not the way things should be. I mean, yeah. yeah exactly. And then in addition to that, I've just remembered traditions. Yeah. Traditions. Yes. Sisi kikwetu. Sisi kikwetu. Sisi kabila hii. Hey, men don't go to the kitchen. Oh, a man cannot do the laundry. Ah uh ah. -uh. Now it brings me to this point, guys. Yes. Um, no. Well, marriage is uh, for better, for worse, but people say for better, for better. For better, for it's better, true, very true. But sometimes the worst can, you know, come, mm. up, come about. Mm -hmm. And how do you deal with that? Maybe someone is uh, sick. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they cannot move. Yeah. What will you do in that case? Very true. And you never trained yourself to be, you know, of help. To your spouse. In fact, what do you do? Will you sit down and see them, you know, suffer there and see everything uh, getting to disarray when you're it, just sitting there? In fact, baby, this reminds me one thing. You've mentioned that and I've just remembered one thing. I've seen people, mm -hmm. because the wife is pregnant mm -hmm. and the wife has given birth, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And the, maybe it's the, a C-section. Yes, maybe it's a C-section. The man can't even do any laundry for the wife he'll be forced to go and get maybe the sister to the wife yeah. to come and do the house chores because he can't bring himself to do anything yeah. for the wife yeah and I remember mean, when a woman gives birth when they need uh, to recover yeah and uh, issues arise you know there are mm. back issues there are, you mm, know mm. Uh, feet issues yeah. we have issues in our bodies and sometimes we might not be as strong as when we got married and Very so true. we need to understand that and just give each other some support mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. let um let, let one spouse not feel mm -hmm. like you know i'm alone in this yeah no 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 no. Mm -hmm. you're together in mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. you have to to work together in this we have yeah. a couple who mentor us mm -hmm. and they are way older than us and yeah, believe, me, yeah. believe me <laughs> the guy he will go to the kitchen, kitchen wash the dishes work. serve the wife yes. and we i love that don't yeah, you love that? I love, I love that mean. about them. In fact, we'll bring I them one of these fine them. days in our show. Of course, we are going to bring them over. Yes. But, I mean, I love that about them, that they help each other mm. and there's no, you know, gender in, in chores, you know, yeah. like this is for the woman, mm. this is mm. for the man. And the man works mm -hmm. and the woman also works, but mm. they come together and they help each other. I love that about yeah. them. And, and, and maybe before we conclude, baby, eh? mm -hmm. uh, one very important thing also, mm -hmm. yeah, why people don't share the house chores among the spouses is the aspect of minding what other people would say. Oh yeah, people's opinion. People's opinion. Yeah. You you are so much concerned about yeah. how will my neighbors look at me? How, how will friends. my friends look at me? Yes. When they come to my house and see, oh, I'm in the kitchen, they will think, oh, ni kama nakali wana bibi yangu, you know, I'm a, you know in this case so you are, you you'll yeah. rather hurt your spouse yeah. and yeah, please people and please people i mean th that, that that's out of order at the end of the day you're mm -hmm. answerable to god very true to god how you treat your spouse mm. you're answerable to god yeah. not to people not to people what you do in your home how you choose to operate in your mm -hmm. home it is none of people's business is mm -hmm. very true right very guys true. in conclusion remember your wife is your helper. Mm -hmm. She has only come in to make work easier for you. But you as the man, you need to lead the way and she comes in to assist you. Okay? Yeah, exactly. But don't make it like she is your donkey or she is, how can I say? Yes. Yeah. She's your slave. Or She's your slave or something like that. Guys, let's be challenged. Yeah, I challenge you, man. Please. Change your mindset, disregard your upbringing, just look at the word of God. How does God expect you to handle your spouse? 
Yes. And yeah. in conclusion on my side uh -huh. is remember that we need to change our mindset. Yeah. Remember that we came together to build a lovely home uh -huh. and it needs to be clean. And for that to happen, we need to work together to make it clean. Stop wow. throwing socks everywhere. Stop nah. throwing your dirty clothes <laughs> everywhere. I mean, women, I know you support me on this. Uh -huh. I know that your comments will be streaming yeah. down there. Yeah. I mean, let's get your comments. Let's get how, I mean, your, 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 your opinion on what you think about this yeah. and uh, i mean let's do this together let's yes. do this together we came together to build a home we are one at the end of the day and we should give to each other so let's be sensitive and help each other in our time of need yes. and with that for now it's a <laughs> bye. bye bye god bless you yes we love you and we pray that your marriages last and keep on working out Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.